of violent sexual fetish and cannibalism. We want to warn you one more time, these details are hard to listen to. It started Christmas Eve. 25 year old Kevin Bacon went to meet a man he connected with on the dating app Grinder. We'd later find out it was 50 year old Mark Latunsky. Panic struck the small town of Swartz Creek in Genesee County when Bacon never came home. A search party for days until a tip led investigators to this house in Morris in Shiawassee County. Kevin found murdered inside. Evil does exist and it, it touched us. Kevin's parents learning the horrible details of what happened. Court documents show police found Kevin hanging naked upside down from the ceiling of Latunsky's home. Latunsky later admitting to police that he stabbed Kevin and slit his throat, hanging him from a rope from the rafters. And then he allegedly cut off part of Kevin's genitals and consumed them. It's gut wrenching to, to hear the details and, and we're, we're just beside ourselves. It appears Kevin knew, at least to an extent, Latunsky was involved in a violent sexual fetish. What was released today shows Kevin had a dark side. He obviously got into something that he wasn't prepared, he wasn't for. prepared for. A deeper look at this man, now charged with murder and mutilation, shows this was a lifestyle. Stunning. Just absolutely stunning for, for Morris, Michigan, for being around a bunch of deer hunters and farmers. It's the last thing I expected to find out here. Latunsky's neighbor, Michael Parks, described a November incident when a man came banging on his door covered in blood. He's got purple hair. He's wearing a leather skirt and he's got a couple of belts across in his chest. The man barges into Park's doorway. This gentleman's grasping my arm with deathly fear. Help me, keep him away, keep him away. Just screaming at the top of his lungs. He wants to hurt me, he wants to hurt me. Another vehicle pulls in my driveway. Out comes who I now find out is Mark, wearing a leather skirt, belts across his chest, no shoes, no shirt on. His beard is braided, very odd looking gentleman. Michigan State Police got there within minutes, but the supposed victim did not want to pursue charges against Latunsky. It's likely, though, he would have ended up like Kevin Bacon. Do you even dare to think about what went on in that house? Oh. Every time I, I, I start to think that way, my stomach turns and I go, I don't even want to entertain those thoughts in my head because it's just, it's just creepy. Very probable that there are other men out there that have had similar incidents with Latunsky. Michigan State Police urging those people to come forward. It could help Kevin Bacon's case and possibly open others. Live in Swartz Creek, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.